Hey friends, Pastor Dave here for our Monday night devotional. How do you deal with it when you feel disappointed in the way you're treated by others? God has a perfect way to deal with it. Let's talk about that today on Something Deeper. So how do you deal with it when you're disappointed in the way you're treated by other people? When you're in school and, and the cool kids don't want to be spending time with you or, or, or when you're just not thought of and people don't care about you. Today was Jill's day to clean out her classroom. Most of you know Jill was forced to retire by her, um, by her health. And so it's a very difficult time and she's grieving that. And she does have some very good coworkers who are good friends who came and saw her and gave her a nice card and everything. But there are also people that when, when you're going through a hard time, you, you hope that they would express something and they don't seem to be thinking of you at all. And that can be very difficult. And how do you deal with that? There is a Christian way to deal with that. And that is to have a forgiving heart. In Mark 11, Jesus was talking about prayer and in verse 25 he said and when you stand praying if you hold anything against anyone forgive them so that your father in heaven may forgive you your sins this is such an important issue you know Jesus even said in the, in the uh, Lord's Prayer that we should pray for God to forgive us in the same way we forgive others and then after the, that sample prayer he explained that if we can't forgive other people, God's not going to forgive us. And he also had a parable talking about somebody who was forgiven a great amount by the king and, and he wasn't willing to get, forgive a small amount. God does want us to forgive. And that can be wonderful for the people that we forgive. If we've hurt somebody or, or somehow we've done something wrong against somebody, it's so wonderful when they say, it's okay, I forgive you. But the one who's blessed the most in forgiveness is the forgiver. I think of Richard Nixon and from the biographies about Richard Nixon, you know, I, I believe Richard Nixon is one of the smartest presidents that we've had in my lifetime. He was a very intelligent person. He got amazing grades in law school and, uh, you know, he was an up and comer in the law profession and in politics and yet he nursed grudges where he, he never felt like he was accepted by the elites of society and it, it made him angry and he had enemies lists and and we look at his presidency as a failure now because of his actions and what were his actions? His actions were doing underhanded things, dirty tricks to try to get reelected and, and dishonest and illegal things. Doesn't mean he wasn't intelligent doesn't mean he couldn't have been a great president, but he had this fatal personality flaw that was basically unforgiveness. I think in a moment of very amazing self-awareness, in his resignation speech, one thing he said was always remember, people may hate you, but they only win if you hate them and then you destroy yourself. I've always thought that was a wise statement and, and a very interesting one, but later I realized that was a story of his life. He destroyed himself because of his lack of forgiveness. He destroyed his presidency and his reputation. And so when we're standing and praying, God says the first thing you have to do is you have to take care of every count you have on this earth. He reminds me of my friend Dave Slaybaugh, Beth's father. When I was visiting with him on the day he died, he said, you know, I think I have forgiven the last person that I need to forgive. I've thought about that since. What a great way to die. That the last thing you tell your pastor is, I've settled all the accounts. 
I don't have any more hard feelings against anybody. I hope that's the way you live your life, where you never have to hold a grudge against somebody else. Grudges are a terrible weight. Don't carry one through life. You'll be so much freer and happier if you can let it go in forgiveness. People may hate you, but they only win if you hate them. And then you destroy yourself. Thank you, Father, for a wonderful day. Thank you, Lord, for in our difficulties, you comfort us. I pray for each person who's watching. May you meet their specific special needs today. Thank you, Father, for your forgiveness and that we can pass that on. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. God bless you all, friends. I love you.